Hello and welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to take you through adjusting the gain and expo settings for your Avata 2 when using the Motion Controller 3. Now we can actually change quite a lot of about how the drone behaves when using the Motion Controller, so I'm going to take you through all of that right now and in order to do so I'm going to get the drone up in the air and I'm going to get the goggles on, so let's hop inside the goggles. So first off I'm going to get the drone in the air. Okay and we're off. So. Just going to go park it over here somewhere and then we're going to go through the menu system so i'm going to use the controls here on the goggles so to enter the menu system i'm going to pull right on the joystick and then i'm going to go down to settings and then i'm going to go to control and then i'm going to click here where it says motion controller and then i can change a few of the things here so what i'm going to do here is going to gain tuning click on that and now we can see we have the ability to change all of the different speeds associated with the motion controller so here we have normal mode and we can also change the settings for sport mode now if we go back here to normal mode we can see here we have max lateral flight speed now this is basically so when you're using the joystick to move left and right this is how fast the drone can move in those directions and then we have max vertical speed again that's how fast the drone can ascend or descend both when using the trigger and also when using the joystick. And then we have max forward speed, which sort of speaks for itself, how fast the drone can move forwards. And then we have maximum backward speed. And we can have the ability to change basically any of these settings to make them faster or slower if we wish by just clicking on it. And um, here we can see we can adjust all of these. They're all measured here in kilometers an hour, but these might show differently depending on what you've got your unit set to. So the main one that a lot of people are gonna change here is probably gonna be their maximum forward speed. Now this comes in really handy if you're flying in a tight space where you really want to decrease your forward moving speed to give you a bit more control and precision. So if I now set this to 1.8 kilometers an hour and go back, we're going to be able to see here just how slowly the drone is going to be moving. So I've got the trigger pushed all the way in now and you can see here we're barely moving, we're just crawling along at I think it was 1.8 kilometers an hour. So if I now go back and I just change that back to where it was at 28, let me go back into the settings, control, motion controller, gain tuning, back to max forward speed, and I can change this back to 28.8. And then we're gonna see here, the drone is gonna go back up to the speed that I'm used to when it's at normal. So if we pull the trigger, now you can see we have a much faster forwards movement speed. Now when it comes to the ascent and descent speed, like I mentioned, if I push up now on the joystick, the drone is going to ascend. That's going to be reflected by that ascent speed. And if I pull down, it's going to descend. And then the same for left and right, if I push it to the left, and then if I push it to the right, these speeds will also be affected by those changes in the gain and expo tuning. Now, again, we can change this also for sport mode. So if I go into the settings and then go into control, motion controller, then go into sport mode. I know a lot of things that people like to do is they like to increase their max vertical speed here in order to make the drone climb a little bit quicker when in sports mode, but it's completely up to you. But basically those are all the different settings that you can play with and change when it comes to using the motion controller and gain and expo tuning to make the drone fly as fast as slow and basically just how you want it to. So you don't have to just take how this comes out of the box. You can modify it and tune it to your own specific needs or your wants so now you know how all that works go out there play with the settings if you want to if not just enjoy using the motion controller with your avata 2. if you've gained value from this video consider becoming a member on patreon as it's one of the best ways to support the work that i'm doing here now i'm also currently working on a cinematic fbv course so if that's something that you would be interested in then you can sign up to the waitlist down below to get notified on all the latest developments and information with this course now, I've also started a weekly newsletter giving you the latest drone news, hot tips and discounts. And you can find all of that linked in the video description down below. And whilst you're down there, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. You should go and check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.